Hi everyone, I'm Pat Prokop for Heavenly Backyard Astronomy and it's now early August and Saturn has just passed opposition or its closest approach to Earth for the year and coming up on the heels of that will be Jupiter's opposition coming on later on this month around August 19th. My plan for tonight is to use the Celestron 11 inch telescope which has a focal length of 2800 millimeters. You need long focal lengths to capture the planets. The longer the better. However, I'm also going to use a, a 2x Barlow and a 3x extender uh, to perhaps enhance the view of the planet or the planets in this case. Let's see what happens though, uh, the difference between looking at the planets at the native stage of F10 with the 2x Barlow and a 3x extender. Welcome to Heavenly Backyard Astronomy. We've been having a lot of clouds here in Savannah. I, mean, I hear a lot of other locations as well, particularly in the UK. I hear you got a, you're getting a lot of clouds as well. But uh, here in Savannah, we've had had in the last 40 days from July 1st through August 8th, I've have had 26 days of clouds and rain with a total of 15.76 inches of rain. In centimeters, that's 40 centimeters of rain in 40 days. Uh, what have I been doing during the cloudy periods? Well, not using the telescope, that's for certain, but I have been using the lawnmower. I need to cut the grass five, every five days here in Savannah because it's growing so fast with all this rain and the fertilizer that was just put down as well. Uh, the grass is growing. You can almost hear it grow out here. So I've been cutting grass a lot during this rainy period. And uh, there I am. Well, now it's the next day. So let's take a look at the process from last night and a couple of nights from before. This here is with no extender or no barlow. This is just the prime focus at F10. This is Saturn here uh, through the uh, Altair Astro 183C camera. This has a 2.4 micron uh, chip size, pixel size on the chip, and it gives a nice resolution of the planet itself. This is also with a 3x extender on the camera. Now I can zoom in on this, a region of interest, let's do that. If I go to the um, 800 by 600 size, it's going to basically fill up the window. There what you have is the full view of the planet with a 3x extender. You can see it's quite grainy. And I have the gain really cranked up too. Uh, 340 milliseconds. Uh, that's the speed, the shutter speed, and the gain is way up there, 2674 uh, out of 5000. So let's try to see if we can see any of the moons on Saturn. Well, to do that, I'm going to have to widen out the view, so let's do that first. And let's go to a larger area. Now I have to bring the game way up, so let's do that. There you can see some of the moons. Right there. There's a one, two, three, four, of course, Titan. This here is with no extender or no Barlow. This is just the prime focus at F10. Let's look at the view on the region of interest. Let's do that 800 by 600 right here. Remember the other with the um, Barlow or the extender, this filled it up. It was from here to here. But here you have it. There you can see uh, the planet itself. I can even, let's, let's go with a smaller size, 640 by 400. And there you can see, uh, it's, it's much smaller, but it, it looks a lot cleaner though too, doesn't it? Plus, the gain for the uh, extender, I had to put the gain all the way up to the top at 5,000, which is the maximum gain, gain for this camera. Um, now it's only down to uh, 256, and and I had the um, milliseconds at uh, 150, 
at top gain now with the uh, standard F10, no extender, no Barlow, the exposure time is 75 microseconds, or milliseconds, excuse me, milliseconds. So let's, uh, let's take a uh, photograph of this. Let's go into capture, start capture. I want to go number of frames. I did a thousand before. Let's do a thousand again. But notice now also down here the frame rate is much higher. Instead of five, it's at um, 13.2. So let's uh, let's just take a, a photograph there. It's going to zip right through this, and we'll compare the two images at the end. So it's hard to say which one is the better of the pictures or which one is the best since I have three different views here. Uh, what do you think? Leave your comments below. Let me know. Um, should I just stick with the F10, the native stage of the telescope? Should I use the Barlow? Should I use the 3X extender or, or what? Or should I just forget about the planets totally and go back to deep space objects? Well, there's a lot of deep space objects up in the sky right now, too. You go, of course, you got the Milky Way uh, right now. The Sagittarius arm in the Milky Way just loaded with all kinds of stars and nebulae. And uh, uh, what, one of my favorites, the Trifid Nebula is up there, and the Lagoon Nebula, the Eagle Nebula with the Pillars of Creation. Uh, you got all kinds of uh, uh, targets to view right now. So unless you need rain, Get your telescopes ready, cameras ready, clear skies everyone.